Hey there, YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again, this time to talk about boots. And not boots you put on your feet, but boots that go onto Ethernet cable. The idea behind a strain relief boot is there's two primary things. One is that it helps to mechanically stabilize the cable inside the plug, which helps to then optimize electrical performance because it can't shift around as much. Uh, the other is that it provides a professional appearance to your cable. So we do recommend that uh, when you're using RJ45 plugs, that you do indeed use cable boots as well, because that's going to give you the best possible chance of getting a good termination that's reliable and durable. Now we do offer uh, our boots in two primary types, slip-on, which literally means just that, slip on. And then we have a cut to fit. So basically the cut to fit is uh, from 5.5 to seven millimeter cable jacket outer diameter compatibility. And you have to cut it in some cases to fit the cable. So I'm gonna put the boot on first, don't forget that, because uh, otherwise you'll put your plug on, crimp it, and then you can't get the boot on. So that's, in this case, uh, you just simply put the boot on just like this, and then you'll take your plug, and then you'll terminate your plug on like you normally would, and then you simply slip the boot until it clips over, and then that's it, you're done. If you make a mistake and you need to cut the plug off, then you don't lose your boot because the nice thing is you can slide the boot back off and then cut your plug and then start again so you don't lose your boot. So that pretty well covers the slip on boots. Real straightforward, there's no, no mystery to those. There are some nuances you need to be aware of. We offer two sizes and a lot of customers don't uh, have a question as to what exactly the difference is. We have a large cup to fit and we have a small cup to fit. These cup to fit boots, what they do is they've got locking latches, or I should say these, these uh, hard plastic bars that go into the rear of the plug. And once they go into the rear of the plug and you terminate your cable, uh, the plug is then locked into the plug. So if you should make a mistake during termination, you have to cut off the entire assembly. What the difference is, is that uh, with the large cut to fit boot, it has got slightly taller bars here at the very end. And it's a very minute we're talking half millimeter difference between the two. And the idea is that it's taller bars provided more stability. The uh, small cut to fit boot, uh, it's gonna wobble way too much. And if you take the large cut to fit boot and try to put that into a Cat 5E so-called plug, uh, that being either the pass-through or the standard one, uh, the bars on the large cut to fit boot are going to be too big to get into the back of that plug. So. The difference is not the cable jacket diameter, the difference is the, the plug you intend to put onto the boot. That's what makes the difference between the small and large cup to fit. Uh, you're gonna notice when I do this that it's not gonna go into the back of that boot. It just simply won't go in there, it's too big. So the way to deal with that and to do a quick way of getting a good tight fitting boot is you take what we did before, you take your boot, turn it around, put the cable in going in from the wrong way, and then push it through until it stops. And it's gonna stop at a certain point in there, and that's exactly where you're gonna cut it. So you take your flush cutters, and you make a, cup, a snip at the top and a step at the bottom, and then you should be able to push it through, and no problem, you can. So take it off, and then reverse it so that you're putting it on correctly and then push it on, it should be a good nice fit, and it is. Slide it down, and then go ahead and terminate your uh, category six slash six A plug uh, that you need to put on there. Get the wires all put through the plug or get the low bar prepped up, whichever plug it is you're working with. And then before you actually put it into the crimp tool, slide it up, get the bars all pushed in there, <clears throat> make it one unit, put it in your crimp tool, crimp it, and you're good to go. If uh, you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you have more questions about how to terminate or uh, what, you know, what the best kind of termination is for your cable, we have plenty of content in our Cable Academy for that. It's discussed at length which termination is best. 
and also some more detailed videos about actually how to put an RJ45 on. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. Leave us a comment below. Give us some tips and tricks if you've got something new. We'd love to engage with you. And with that, I'm going to say you have a great day. Happy networking.